Dr. Akiumi Akiyemi, medical practitioner. COVID-19 coronavirus. That name is no longer strange to my audience. It's a virus that is presently ravaging the whole world. And we as a church cannot pretend as if the virus does not exist. And that's why we are bringing this health education to our members worldwide so that should there be a suspected case of the virus, know what to do about it. What is coronavirus? Coronavirus is a virus found in animals and can be transmitted from animals to humans and then from person to person. We have had other types of coronaviruses in the past, such as the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome virus, MERS, and the Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome virus, SARS. But recently, there is a virus called the COVID-19 virus infection. It's presently spreading worldwide. It was first identified in Wuhan province of China, and it has been found and has spread to over 118 countries. It has affected over 118,000 people, majorly in mainland China, Italy, South Korea, Iran, France, and other European and African countries, and has caused the death of over 4,000 200 people worldwide, giving a death rate of 3.6%, meaning that out of every thousand, about 36 people will die from this illness. What are the symptoms of coronavirus? Majority of people will have a mild illness. Say 80 out of 100 we have a mild illness. About 14 out of 100 we have a severe illness. And five out of 100, we have a critical uh, illness, meaning that they are point of dying. The incubation period of COVID-19 is about two to 14 days. COVID-19 typically causes a flu-19 is about two to 14 days. COVID-19 typically causes a flu-like symptoms. It starts as a fever, high fever, about 38 degrees centigrade, and then cough. In the severe forms, it might cause shortness of breath and difficulty with breathing. In a few number of patients, there are other symptoms, such as running nose, sneezing, sore throat, headache, muscle pains. These are other symptoms that could occur really in some other patients. The duration of the symptoms, it depends on the severity. In mild cases, it's about up to two weeks. And then in severe and critical cases, up to six weeks. And that's why it's recommended that if there's a suspicion of the virus, the person should self-quarantine, meaning stay away from every other person for a period of about two weeks so that the symptoms can subside and prevent spread to other people. How is it contacted? The virus is spread from person to person by close contact with someone that's already been infected. Now, when someone that has been infected coughs, sneezes, speaks, certain droplets can fall on surfaces or someone with close contact with the person. And as a result of that, the virus lands on the person or on the surface. Now, when such a person takes his hands, touches the surfaces, touches his eyes, his nose, or his mouth, he contacts the virus, which starts spreading and starts multiplying itself within that human being. And then, given its incubation period, it starts to manifest the symptoms. How can the virus be prevented? That is a very crucial part of the health education. I must say that to date, there is no vaccine. But then there are several simple 
measures that can be taken to prevent the spread of the virus. Number one, regular hand washing with soap, preferably liquid soap, and running water. Or in the absence of that, we could make use of hand washing with alcohol-based hand sanitizers. Secondly, you should cover your mouth and nose with the elbow of the hand when coughing or sneezing and not with the hand. Or better still, use tissue paper to cover the mouth and nose when coughing and then immediately discard the tissue paper. Avoid touching the eyes, the nose and the mouth with the hand, especially if it's not clean. Avoid close contact with persons coughing or sneezing. It's recommended to keep a distance of about six feet away from people that are coughing or sneezing. Avoid close contact with people that are sick. Clean and disinfect surfaces you regularly touch. If you are coughing or sneezing, you can wear a face mask to protect others. But know that wearing face masks outside coughing or sneezing does not necessarily protect you from having the viral infection. If you are sick or have symptoms that make you suspect that you may have coronavirus infection, stay at home from work, school, or other public places. Avoid eating raw and undercooked meat and finally avoid travels to areas that have an outbreak of COVID-19 coronavirus.